People's food choices are influenced by a number of things. There's a fundamental need, there's tradition and curiosity. Fundamental need because we all need to stay nourished and fueled. Tradition because we're all influenced by where we come from, our upbringing, where we live but also curiosity. People are fundamentally curious and I keep marveling at the proliferation of ethnic foods from other regions and cities all over the world. If we turn to the sustainability aspect, CO2 reduction is very important. When we look at plant-based protein, one kilo of soy protein isolate produces roughly three kilos of CO2 in the production. If you take one kilo of beef animal protein, CO2 emission is 178 kilos, so more than 60 times more. So it's obvious that if we could move more people to a plant-based diet, we could help reduce the CO2 emission significantly. IFF is a global leader in food and bioscience solutions. We're also a global leader in scent, where you find our products in household applications and fine fragrances. As a company, we are committed to do more good to consumers, customers and the planet. You find our solutions in many products that people use every day. From a food perspective, uh, you find us in dairy, in bread, but also in more modern solutions like high nutrition beverage drinks. From a very practical point of view, as an example, we are in every second ice cream, every second nutrition bar, and every fourth loaf of bread consumed on the planet every day. With an increasing consumer awareness for the planet health, we see an increasing consumer demand for alternative proteins. Right now, a rich protein source for this comes from plant-based proteins, and as we expand our knowledge of how to utilize alternative proteins, how to process these, and how to transform them into advertising food, we will see a variety of food systems based either on traditional food as we know them today, but also in completely new formats. And that is what we are working with at IFF. When you get a product, the first thing is what you smell, then it's about taste and texture, and all are definitively related. And when we think about the new generation of plant-based products, we could go beyond by understanding and by using taste and texture to create new type of food. For the consumer to adopt plant-based products for every day, every meal, to have plant-based being center of the plate, it's important to understand what the consumer are really looking for. On one of the recent surveys that we did, we found out that 70% of the consumer are looking for plant-based products that are not imitating milk or meat products. So it's important that in our design, we design without limitation, without going into imitate the food that are existing. And these also bring a lot of opportunities for the consumers to have more options to integrate in their diet, as well as for the industry to develop new things and to really innovate. The way we make new solutions available, we do a lot of consumer research. We connect with thousands of consumers every year to do primary research. And we also, of course, work with our customers to understand how they see the trends developing. We bring ideas for solutions to our customers and then we co-develop with our customers in our design and innovation centers around the world to make sure that we develop exactly the solution the customer is looking for to meet the need in the market where the customer is active. We also see an increasing demand for transparency. People want to know what's in their food and where it comes from. And to give an understanding of how we play into this need, we launched a new product recently, a clean label stabilizer, which is produced from responsibly sourced seaweed. If you consider what we have been eating and consuming for thousands of years, then that has been quite traditional. And only recently we have seen disruptive new food formats, new ingredient sources, new production technologies, and that will just continue to be so. The future that I'm seeing is a diet that is much more balanced between animal protein and plant-based protein. And this is important 
for the health of people and the health of the planet to do more good.